Uh, good Sunday morning. It's <laughs> ten past twelve, so that makes it officially ten past twelve a.m. Yeah, so that makes it officially Sunday. So happy Sunday, so. Last week I mentioned uh, I thought East was this weekend is not always East. It's next uh, weekend. Where uh, Jesus died for our sins. And I'm bored senseless here. And I'm uh, bursting into flames here like the devil. I'm smoking. Somebody touch me. Um, it's great to see spring here. Yeah. It was a great day today. I went out for a walk uh, this afternoon and I was made up. Can you see the tan on my face? The sun has caught my face. Well, for about five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, it's a funny old world in it, and it's getting funny peculiar. I don't know what the Tories are trying to do. They've got some strange ideas, haven't they? One minute they're giving you 200 quid, and the next minute they're kicking you in the knuckers. Right between your legs and your nuts. I can't make any sense of it. Supposed to give me another 300 quid. Uh, is it April? Oh, it's April already. In May, I think. Another 300 quid in October, another 300 quid. In I, I, I don't know what's going on, man. I'd love to work, but I can't. I'm telling you. I can hardly. I don't know what's going on with me. I can hardly physically move for more than an hour. I've been to the doctors and everything. I've complained to ugh, every bloody doctor and pharmacist I've met, hoping they'll pass the word along and check this fella out properly. We might be able to find a solution. Got no way. So I tried my best. I know I'm down on the medical notes for um for um that. Yeah, but you know <laughs> I spent a couple of years I didn't I gave up tea, coffee, alcohol, cigarettes, even bread. No, I know what's going on with me. It's uh, it's a genetic thing. Uh, they say that uh, your intestines, your digestive system, is your body's second brain. <clears throat> is your body's second brain. Huh? That's where the problem lies, I'm telling you. I know it sounds stupid. Your digestive system is your second brain. Yeah. I'm from a race, Welsh, that uh, <laughs> if you're still alive at 50, you're doing well. <laughs> that sort of thing. As Quinn Thomas said, we've been, been taught many times in our life and in our existence to starve. I think that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps I should try a, an old, ancient, traditional diet. Bread and cheese and water. And uh, some eggs and bits and pieces. 
I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I've given up. Uh, I've given up trying to sort it all out. But uh, you know, uh, I was helping out my friend uh, uh, Monday before last. I was laid up in bed for three days after so I've tried. And I, I walked on the shop um, most days. And it's only about half a mile there, half a mile back. And I, I have to stop about three times coming back. I'm wrecked. So I don't know. I'm not making this up, you know, because it's... I you know, um, people tend to marry, somehow they marry people that are similar to... Because it just reminds me of how my parents were... You know, my mother was a nurse and she had all the advice she she needed from doctors. No real answers. And she died at 68. And then my father, he had to give up work before he was 60. He got no answers. And then my grandparents, same sort of thing. Oh, you know. Like uh, my my mother's father, grandfather, uh, my grandfather on my mother's side, you know, things were going on with him, similar, well, exactly the same, and he's, oh, the temper on him, he flew up uh, a good few times with me, irrationally, and he had the blunt end of it, so, uh, the last time it happened when I was about 16, 17, 18, around that age. I can't remember exactly when. And when that happened, that was it. <laughs> Hello, good day, and that was about it. I gave him a wide berth after that. I remember when I got engaged. On the engagement party, he came up to me. Then he wanted to know everything. Uh, uh, you know, I was very polite. I said, "Yes, yes. Uh, hopefully next year, no one will ask." Sort of thing. It didn't happen after that. <clears throat> and then, well, this girl I was engaged with, she was same sort of continuation of it all. And uh, and then my father's father, my other grandfather, for years he was complaining to his doctor. Like, so I'm so I'm, I'm not with it and all that, right? You know, well, he, well, he, his mind was all right, but you know. And then his wife, <coughs> Gertrude, Gertie. She was basically stuck in bed for, for about, well, last 10 years of her life. And she went to 67. And then my mother's mother, <coughs> yeah, she went up when she was 75. And uh, <laughs> her main problem was her chest. Good God, she could, she could cough like a coffin. <laughs> so uh, I had no chance today. You know, self perception is hard to find. I'm, uh, I'm self perceptive of all this, and uh, and then my brother, no. <coughs> <clears throat> I don't know how he's doing, but uh, he went nuts with me, exactly like uh, 
my grandfather on my mother's side. And it was a total flashback to me. So I had to tell him not to visit me ever again. You know, well, you know, you know. Oh, fucking, 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 fucking hell. <laughs> oh, God, 10 minutes has gone already. I, uh, well, we've all got these, uh, what's the phrase? I've got the phrase now. Crosses the bear. We've all got these crosses the bear, haven't we? PBS News or what you were saying. Uh, West, uh, well, already watched, watched the one from East already. <laughs> bye bye.